Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 20 and we're going to draw the tens and units. So let's begin with our first example. What we do first is we will draw our abacus. Now we went through this in the previous tutorial so you know what this is. Um, on the right hand side we're going to label it units always start from the right units the one left to it is the tens so we've got tens and units now suppose the question is that we have to draw the number 12 on the abacus how do we do that 12 on the abacus now here the 12 we've got a 2 the 2 is the units. So therefore we can draw our two beads over here. 1, 2. And the 1 over here, that is the tens. So we can draw 1 over here. So that is how we represent 12 on the abacus. We've got one ten and we've got two units. It's as simple as that. Now we'll go on to our second example. We'll draw the abacus again. Okay, there's our abacus. Let's label it. We're going to label it just with the capital letters. We've got a U and a T. U and a T. Tens and units. Question now is how do we represent 16 on the abacus? Well, again, the 6 is the units, the 1 is the tens. So we start from the right, six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. So those are our six units. We've also got one ten. So we've got, we can actually write this down here, one, six. That's how it's shown, one, six, sixteen. Okay. We're now going to move on to a, I'm just going to change back, into a different example. What I'm going to do this time is draw on the abacus and I want you to tell me which number it is. So we've got tens and units. I'm going to change color for this. Got one here and we've got one. Okay, so what number does that represent, this abacus? Well, on the right-hand side, we've got one, two, three. So we've got three units. On the left-hand side, we've got one, ten. So the number the abacus shows is thirteen. Thirteen. We're going to do one more. Okay, this time, well, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit just to give us some room. I'm going to change colors. And I'm going to draw here. We're just going to label it, the two columns. We've got tens and units. So what number does this abacus represent? We'll start from the right-hand side. We've got in units, we've got zero. There's nothing here on this side. But this side has got two. So the number that is shown is 20. So if you want to show a zero, make sure there are no beads on there. That's a zero. This is 
2 on the tens, so therefore we've got 2 and 0, it is 20. So that is how we use the abacus to show numbers up to 20, and how we tell the units and the tens.